Good evening. This is February the 25th, uh, Sunday, um, engaging the basics of um, dwelling in heaven. Um, and tonight we have actually, uh, at our bench meeting, decided we wanted to have a basic, we wanted to throw some something out there at you guys tonight. And we wanted to find out Michelle, John, and myself are not going to comment much on, on on the subject. We're going to put it out there for you guys. We want to know how do you perceive and understand ages? And what is your vision on ages? And what I want to say right from the beginning, I've said it before, if I'm standing on one side and I'm seeing a nine and you standing on the other side, you're seeing a six. We're both seeing the identical thing, but we're seeing it from uh, from different perspectives. So too, if you have a cylinder and you put a light on it, if the light's on from the end, the person looking at it from the end view will see a circle of in the shadow. The person seeing it from the other angle will see a rectangle, but neither are seeing the full picture because it's actually a cylinder, not a circle or a rectangle. So whatever you perceive and understand might be different to what the next person perceives and understand. It doesn't mean that either is wrong. It means we're all seeing things from a different angle and perspective. And when we put it all together, we see a bigger picture. So with that, I want to throw it open to you guys. And I just want you all to give us feedback on how and what do you understand as ages or an age an age what is it an age what is it it's just it's just your perspective no, we just want to see with each person's perspective to to see how different people understand an age we're all yeah we're all learning. It may take a, take a few minutes. Oh, let's take a few minutes and think about it. And once we've also shared what, how we perceive an age to be, we're then going to engage and see what the Lord shows each individual as an age. I know what the oldest is. I know some of it is where you have actually stepped out of the age of church and you have made up your mind to set into the age of peace, the order of Melchizedek, the age of rest. And there's more ages that follow up from me. These are all ages that you have to actually operate in. And then of course it is that Stepping out of the age of the church, so it is the age of Ecclesia. And it's running up the Ecclesia house to learn from him and move with him. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah. Thanks, Amanda. Who's next? What's, the, what's your understanding of an age? And uh, just to say, I think if you feel like you want to ask a question about it, you can too. Like, in, yeah. you know, well, I understand mm -hmm. this, but I'm wondering about, or, you know. Yeah. It's just to give you some clarity, the three of us on the bench, when we had our meeting on Friday, yeah. we're seeing th things mm -hmm. from different perspectives and, and mm -hmm. understand things. So even in um maturity of time spent in engaging we're still seeing things from different perspectives and it's all valid right well i know that my perspective has changed of course in the last couple of years with different teachings but I, I would describe it as a 
um, a time, kind of a, a space of time that is got some loose parameters around it. And uh, events take place in, in that time frame that uh, change the, uh, can change the world, can change uh, people. Uh, you know, that's just kind of a rough outline. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, to me, as um, as we are saying, it's a perspective because uh, there were uh, certain things that um, I used to uh, think in another way that now my perspective on that has changed. I mm -hmm. understand it more uh, differently than before. So, yeah, it's a perspective, really. Yeah, but I, I would like to, uh, you know, know more also about it. So you feel like it's a perspective? Yeah, I more think it's my... Yes. Thank you. Right. I don't really... Um... I don't look at ages so much. I mean, I see, you know, I, I, and there's no time in heaven. So I feel like it helps us on earth when we're on earth, you know, to go, oh, well, there was the time of Adam and Eve to Noah. Then there was the time of Noah to Abraham. Then there was this time. But I just see it as uh, before Christ and after Christ because he uh, got rid of the other ages and some of the significance of them and is bringing us into something new and since he rose from the dead on earth i feel like we're just ever ever growing and evolving until we can finally <laughs> finally bring you know merge the two realms again right thanks annie thanks annie and, and just because you've said something one time doesn't mean you can't speak again, all right? <laughs> so, uh -huh. Yeah, sort of helping each other. So I guess Anne made a good point about um, uh, no time in heaven, obviously. Uh, so are we talking about um, age in this realm or in all realms that's a good question that that's the perspective we were wanting to see where people are at yeah okay <laughs> gotcha <laughs> hmm. yeah that enlarges it. yeah feel free to share I was trying to figure out what all you were talking about as far as age, you know. Um, all I know is that, you know, the Lord spoke to me when certain people that I went to listen to and I'd ask him questions on things, matters they'd say. And he said to me, we're coming out of the church age into the kingdom age is what I was told. Um, and so... I know I have to back out and not listen to certain people, not that they're not teaching the word of God, but he's placed me in a different place. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, four or five years ago here, 219 sometime is when things really changed with what he was doing in my life and in, in me. And so I question what other people say, you know, uh -huh. So that's my perspective is from what he's told me. We're not, we're coming out of that. So when I think about this new thing he's doing, he's about to do something people have never seen before. And mm -hmm. I don't know, I guess kind of going back on what Mark said, you know, about doing a new thing, you know, 
um, it's definitely going to be eye opening, you know, eye awakening, um, and awe of who God is when when this comes out, just from yeah. things revealed, you know, revealed to me or encounters I've had, the things I've gone through here. That's coming. Exciting. Yes, exciting. It is exciting. Devel, how do you see ages? I know you said the other day you're pretty new at this, so we won't hold you to make comments. Um, <laughs> Michelle, what was the perspective you got the other day that you shared with us on the bench? Um, I'm just trying to remember exactly how you said it, what the Lord showed you yesterday. Are you talking to me? Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. The Jesus told me that an age is not about time. It's, it's about an expression. That's why you could talk about the age of perfection if you can see where you can see what perfection is that you can express that it's it's so that's what he showed me that's great see i'm already going deeper in this stuff man exactly. uh, now that there's been a lot of teaching out there about ages and yeah. um, it's put it all into sort of this is what we had quite a heavy discussion on friday um, regarding being inside of time, outside of time, the celestial time clock, um, where when Jesus came upon the earth, we were entering the celestial time clock of the age of the, of the Piscean age. That's why the church age had the sign of the fish as the symbol of the early believers and so forth. And in the last number of years, we've moved out of that into the cusp and movement over into the age of Aquarius where and it's the water being poured out onto the earth which is the glory of God filling the whole earth that's in the time frames of the 2000 plus minus ages that have been through the time but then there's also outside of time the age of Melchizedek or the order of Melchizedek wow Damn. And uh, Florence, when you said it's about perspective, uh, mm -hmm. that was really that was really brilliant. Everybody's comments was very good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we, I don't know if we want to keep keep chatting on it. If there's some questions coming up, whatever for a little while. Yeah, I guess that would be great. <laughs> Sorry, what did you say, Florence? I said I think that would be great. Okay. You know, if you keep on, um, you know. Mm -hmm. Talk about a bit more. Yeah, yeah. My only problem with some is of that... it is sorry, carry on. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, my problem is trying to define everything. It mm -hmm. is kind of the old paradigm of um, structure yeah. or um, like waiting again, waiting for more, waiting for the mm. future instead of living. <laughs> and that's um, you know, it's like we're always waiting for the next thing. And that gets you back into the old rapture mentality that started in the 1800s that, oh, we're waiting for Christ to rescue us. You know, we're yeah. not living uh, as as him on earth. And um, so my only caveat is I get concerned when we try and define things too much, because yeah. as you as you all know, something we thought 10 years ago that was mind blowing revelation we, it has changed <laughs> and yeah. you know we all change uh hopefully we're growing so yeah that's my only comment is what is the point of discussing it if, if are we trying to define things that help us know what parameters we're in or what protocols to follow or are we just curious <laughs> well i think any the, the the reason why we ask this question is there's been so much being thrown around of we're in this age we're in that age we people all trying to sort of box us into a specific period time um understanding and we were when we were discussing this the other day we were just 
um, realizing that we, if we truly want to understand being according to the order of Melchizedek, we're outside of time. It's a perspective we have on where we at at in our individual lives at this given time. And being of the order of Melchizedek, we have no beginning and no end. We're in the eternal everlasting of the everlasting now. So therefore, being in that, we incorporate all ages in that. <laughs> okay, I, I see your perspective. Yeah, it's, it's more, it's also just being aware of what is out there and keeping your shield and guard up and, and running everything through the Holy Spirit. Um, yeah. Because it is, it's the, the next stage is getting to some of the old paradigms of, okay, now let's define this and let's, you know, and boxing ourselves in yep. again. And uh, uh, that, that worries me. I found so much of that in the late, mid to late, uh, mid 80s to early 90s, with the, when we started to see the restoration of the prophetic, where everybody was trying to put things into boxes and define it instead of just letting the spirit take us where he went, where the spirit wanted to take us and just fellowshipping with the Lord instead of trying to put everything in, in little individual boxes and 10 points of how to prophesy. Just like when you were at Bible school, they taught you five points on how to preach. <laughs> That's a really right. good point. Right. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I'm tired of boxes. Yeah. yeah. Me yeah. too. Yeah. I blow yeah. them up. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you get a little think, scattered sometimes, but it all when, comes. When people say think outside of the box, they say what box? Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. I also believe that it is also with regard to how you have prepared your heart to take on the next age. To do what to take on the next age, Amanda? And to the Holy Spirit has to eat the next he has prepared you for that is to come you know, according, according to how you have brought yourself into understanding what is the next level that you need to be at so that you can move with ecclesias, be pinched, operate with him, learn from him, and then further on, look at become fathers and all stuff. Yes. You could probably, what you're saying is kind of like maybe glory to glory. Yeah. From glory no, to glory. Not glory to glory. Um, precept upon precept, but that's the church age. We're now in the Ecclesia age. We're now in the name of the order of Melchizedek outside of time. So it's out of time and space. So we need to get ourselves into that. Perspective and, and reality to our mindset, which is a mind of that is empowered to the Holy Spirit that raises us into those those glorified abilities that Jesus has made available for us. That's good. You know what the that that is helpful in the sense that we we we, we don't build in a vacuum, right? right? So. That's why it does say that the Holy Spirit takes us from glory to glory. So we value what we understand right now, but we're willing to change and grow into That's some right. other realm of understanding, right? Yeah. Well, I, yep. uh, Amanda, yep. That's true. That's true. Just on, on a lot of people are saying we're in the age of the Ecclesia. Now, I just threw this one at the, yes. at the, the bench on Friday. I said, what does the word Ecclesia mean? It's the word that's translated as church. So if we're in the age of Ecclesia, yes. we're, still in the, we're still in the church age, but we actually moved on from the religious age of the church age into the, or into the yeah. understanding of, of the glory of God versus the 
the order of man being in control, which I, I always say the early church was in the ch age of ecclesia, but then religion hijacked it and took it into the age of man-made church. <laughs> mm, I understand. Mm. Thanks. Because if you look at the first roughly 300 years of the founding of the church, up until when Constantine brought in the religious order of the Roman Catholic Church, etc., you had a moving of freedom in the spirit where people were engaging in the heavenlies. Yeah. The entire the writings of the New Testament were all inspired from engaging the heavens and not according to a religious order. Yes. Right, and now 2,000 yes. years later, yes. we're still tethered to the revelation that was given to some of the early saints. Yeah. yeah. Instead of relying on our own revelation, um, corroborated with each other with the Holy Spirit. Yes. That's exactly what I said on Friday. We mm. by two or three witnesses from the Holy Spirit, we establish the truth. And uh, so just to say that going from glory to glory, my husband's put it this way. He said, you know, when we get a revelation, right, and we honor it, we treasure it, and, and, and if we hold it like this, then we prevent what we, we box it. We make a box, right? Yeah. Whereas if we hold it like this, open-handed, then we are in the flow where Holy Spirit can bring us into a greater revelation or a different perspective and so on, right? So that's what we mean by not boxing, not being in a box. We keep, we, we honor the revelation we presently have. We don't dismiss it. We honor it, but we keep an open hand because we're going from glory to glory. Yeah. So we're not building in a vacuum. That's just my point, right? We're not building in a vacuum. We're building from, uh, Amanda said it, precept upon precept, glory to glory, right? That's all no, good. And each, one, and each one of us will have a understanding of, of a perspective at a given time in our life. And you might not agree with something I say now and something Michelle says now or something Joel says now or something Mark says now. But six months down the line, you suddenly have a flip around and you see it from a different perspective and you suddenly think oh okay that's what they were saying uh it becomes a fresh um introduction in within yourself and i think that is the most important aspect of where we at in this present understanding of our sonship we're constantly in a flow of growth <laughs> it's constantly flowing yeah. And it reminds me of what you shared, Mark, about just how you're able to look at your, your, you know, your heavenly seat in Christ. And now it's really all of a sudden you got it, you know? Yeah. 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 It's coming together. And a lot of it is just from conversations like this. And uh, yeah, it's great. Yes. Yeah, it is. And then so, when uh, we're able to engage in the heavens, uh, you know, that's really put it into practice. And, man, that's awesome. Yeah. It it it's a group thing these days. No, no more one man or one woman show, right? It's it's done in a in a group. And that, that helps keep it fresh. Absolutely. Yeah. That's what you were saying there. Group yeah, thing. That's I right. just in the, at a flash, several men of God who were well-known internationally, who just in the last decade suddenly just passed away. And I was just suddenly, Holy Spirit just took me back into a prophetic, conference we all attended about 15 years ago 
and the whole theme was about team and no more a one-man show and i think about 15 of those well-known names men of god who were the man of power the man of hour have all passed on who did not actually embrace team yeah yeah that, and that all comes together with the fact that we are one body and realizes yeah. that realization of you know that we are connected spiritually you know that we've not really or i hadn't really realized or thought about by listening and pondering on some of that of knowing that we are connected and, and you know lord brings us together in different communities or tribes to connect where he's taught or to help each other in growing um or like you you mentioned you know each of us are different pieces that bring something together like a puzzle to give yeah. the, the whole answer of something mm -hmm. yes exactly absolutely yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Linda. Hi, Linda. Mm -hmm. Linda and Linda and baby. Yep. Baby boy. <laughs> Hello. Good <laughs> to be here. Glad to be here. Hubby's watching him right now. So, but yeah, okay. me and baby okay. boy. <laughs> We're just having a discussion, Linda, on what ages mean to us. What are, what is ages? So, join in. Uh, we've just been sharing perspectives of how each one sees ages. I haven't really thought on that topic or considered um, ages in quite some time. So yeah, currently I'm like to hear what you guys are sharing. Are we going to go into a time of engagement? Yeah. Yeah, let's go into a time of engagement. And there again, Michelle, myself, and Joel are going to sort of hold back and let you guys share what you get first. And then, like, at the end, we'll just compound everything together. And uh, didn't we suggest that you brought pen and paper with you? Yeah. And that uh, yeah. if you don't, maybe you can get it quickly. Uh, and that we were going to like do it differently, right? Have like maybe 15 minutes, right? Where we were just yeah. going to everyone be engage. quiet and everyone will engage themselves personally, quietly for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. and then share. Okay. That's what we decided, right? Yep. Yes. That's what we decided. Okay. Okay. Who wants to lead us in? I can if nobody wants to. Definitely. Danny. Okay. Yes. All righty. Um, I wrote this down. It helps me. Um, okay. As we start, we have a mindset that we're spiritual beings. We are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We activate our positions of authority. We're all equal priests, and we honor everything the Father has to share with us. We submit to the Holy Spirit. We operate from a seat of rest in the spiritual realm. So let's relax and rest as I well, as we engage with expectation. We approach this engagement with childlike wonder. We join in opening our gates. We open our love gate. If somebody hasn't done that yet, 
and we open our soul gates, our spirit gates, our body gates to allow the Holy Spirit's river of life, the living water, to flow within us and through us. All of us can see, perceive, all of us can hear, taste, smell, feel, and touch in our spirit beings. We honor silence because that's when we are engaging. So, Father, we honor you. We, uh, we love you. We approach you only through Jesus. Um, we just are joined together as a family, everyone here and everyone who listens in the future. So we're glad and joyful to be joined with you right now. Thank you, Amy. So we're just going to have like about 15 minutes of just engaging. Write down whatever you receive, whatever you understand, whatever gets given to you. And then we'll, after 15 minutes, we'll share. Is this in the context of ages or is this without a specific direction? Uh, in context with the ages.
for the people who've been knitting. Uh, it's just over 15 minutes we've been in there. All right, what a good time. Florence had to go. Dimitri, do you have a fan on? Uh, my computer's fan just went on. <laughs> Could be that. Just hearing a sound. Yeah, there you go. Everybody, everybody here? <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> All right. I'm here, but I'm not here. <laughs> yeah, everybody's not here. <laughs> Who's ready to share first? Okay, I know Amanda said that she's going to have load shedding. Do you want to go first quickly, Amanda, then? If you have something to share. So really early to say anything, but what I don't know is... I will keep learning, going on. Okay. Great. Thank you. Who's next? <laughs> we want to hear we all want to hear what we want to hear what you guys have to say. Remember, we're not going to share yet. One of the first things he brought to mind was uh, how wonderful a shared silence can be. You know, if you're comfortable with someone having a meal or reading a book or just watching, looking at a view, just uh, the difference between when we do this alone versus with each other, how, just how nice it is. Mm. Beautiful. So Linda said she's unable to share right now. Just feel free to share whatever went on with you while you were engaging you know maybe you were just asking questions or yeah just feel free to share there's no wrong answers here yep yep 
I was going to say the same thing, Jill. <laughs> it's just different. We're all used to doing it a different way. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, Mark. Mark is busy at the moment. All right. You know, you could see um, pictures, right? Just pictures. And it, um, it may be something symbolic that we could all break down, you know, kind of discuss. So you could have heard something. I'd like to share. Yay! <laughs> Please do. Yeah. Well, um, before, she, I don't know who it was that brought us in. That was just beautiful. I just wanted to say that was beautiful. I had not heard that way, put that way before. But before she even started, I started seeing a standing, a group of us standing in front of Yeshua. And we're light beings. I mean, full of light. Okay. And uh, stood there for a very long time waiting. Like I was waiting on what, what next, what's, you know, I, I see in heaven, I see a lot. Um, anyways, and then he started showing me and I saw it, what looked like now this is going to be hard because I see a lot. And it's hard for me to explain it, but it looked like a big, huge bubble. And like I was inside of it and came through it. It was easy to walk through it, but it was like what I came out of. So I came out of one and went into another one. Okay. And what I was hearing was time traveler. So I'm thinking, okay, is this out? This is outside of time. It's an engagement of being outside of time. I'm not catching the whole thing, but that's what I was, what I was hearing was time traveler. And so I'm thinking outside of time, but I'm seeing myself come out of these bubbles into another one. And it was easy to move in and out of them. I love that. Yeah. Yeah. I also love that. Love that. I'll share what I got, which is similar just now. <laughs> yeah. Did you get any more, Annie, that you wanted to share? Um, it was just um, talking to him about, um, I had looked up Psalm 25 earlier and the, um, what I pulled out of it was whoever honors the Lord Jesus will be guided in their journey. Mm -hmm. His faithfulness embodies us. His unfailing love will never let us go. And then I just kept getting him. I'll never let you go. We're in him. So he can't. Beautiful. It's all and as far as ages, anyway. it, it went back to just the, for me, you know, everybody has their own revelation and just, just because we get one doesn't mean it's for everybody. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. unless he tells us, but, uh, yeah, mine just went back to AC and BC, BC and AC. Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> but I love the bubbles. I want to walk through those bubbles. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Don't know if Deville wants to share. Deville, do you have anything to share? Um, hello. Uh, I, I saw, I, well, I, I don't know, but I saw, I guess, uh, stumbling blocks that, uh, that like didn't led to reach another kind of level, but I saw the fire going into these blocks and trying to remove them. Um, yeah, and then I thought, uh, about something that these blocks can be removed by faith. Uh, so I tried to do that. And uh, and then uh, I don't know, N nothing. <laughs> I think that these blocks might be about uh, blocking from reaching like another level or another age i i really don't yeah i don't understand that. thank you for sharing yeah i just got a um an image of the living water, like light, uh, flowing over those stumbling blocks for you, honey. And um, like they're sugar cubes, the living water just dissolved them like they were sugar cubes. So I think as you're just trusting God, you're right where you're supposed to be at whatever level you are, or, or you don't need to worry about that. Just let the living water just flow over those stumbling blocks and he'll dissolve them. That's good. Yeah. Also, uh, maybe, well, I, I also saw that a, a platform that was made of the water. So maybe that is what it meant. I don't know. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. A platform of water. That's beautiful. It's powerful. Yep. Because isn't it true to veil that the living waters is a cleansing, right? So it removes the stumbling blocks. So it cleanses. Yeah, I'm still I'm still uh learning about this whole yeah. thing. So so what I see I sometimes I don't understand but later on I I get uh, like the the signs like what it is. So yes. Awesome. Did you have something, Mark? Well, I I do. It's I wasn't going to uh, really share it because it was well. So we were talking about ages and how that can be so many different things to people. Um, for me. For many, many years, I used to have these uh, visions when I closed my eyes of of uh, kind of like a panoramic view of the history of the world and um, the different ages of time with events that would be flashing by in the sky. And I could step into it <clears throat> and out of it and... and uh, almost like being right there at the moment. Um, I, I saw that today when we were engaging and, and, but then it shifted and I was looking like I was um, in heaven per se in, in the different realm and I was 
I was seeing the cosmos. I, I could see earth and I could see people's spirits coming from the father to earth and living their life. Um, coming back to the father, coming back home. And it was, I, I don't know how to describe it. it was, they, they were, I could, I could see their life, their, their choices, their, it's hard to, hard to describe. And they would come back in to the father. It's hard to explain because I know we were never separate from the father. But um, that's the best like, way I can describe it. It was a different perspective than I've ever had before. And uh, I, I mean, we're talking hundreds of thousands and millions of, of these lights that were people. Um, I think what Denise was talking about uh, light beings. And um, that's kind of what I saw too. It was, it was interesting. I, I can't really put it into words. Different. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful, Mark. Okay, Linda, can you share now or not? Um, hi, I have, I had some distractions, so I couldn't hear everything. And then I wasn't at the beginning of the call. So, um, I wasn't able to really engage a whole lot. So I think it was more, um, kind of an intellectual, a brief intellectual thought. And the little bit that I heard from everyone else was, um, beautiful. And I wish I had an opportunity to engage more because, um, that was lovely. <laughs> um, so, you no, know, I just, I've always understood ages. Um, trying to find the words. We, like, we, we move through the ages, I feel like, as we go through. In some cases, it's like gaining momentum in our understanding and kind of like an awakening for me with the Lord. Um, but I was, what I felt like he highlighted to me was um, more in a natural sense, the different seasons of my life are considered ages as well in a smaller, in a smaller, more personalized way. I never really thought of ages that way. You know, I thought of like church age, kingdom age, mm. um, all these other ages, mm. but, and I don't know, I don't, I don't really understand that, but it was just something that came up. So, yep. I think because we're so, there's so much more to us than we really understand that yeah. how would you put a couple of years maybe into an age, but it's, it's like, as we move through the years, which aren't necessarily representing ages, it's not about time. That's one thing I was hearing is it wasn't necessarily about time at all. Um, but, you know, like as we carry kind of the DNA and the memories, maybe even in the generational lines, like when we go through even just a couple of years, what we've carried both blessings and, you know, challenges. It's like ages of learning, of revelation, of um, becoming who we are and going through those ebbs and flows throughout the seasons of life. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Different That's expressions good. of us, huh? <laughs> Joe, Joe, would you like to go first? I'll go. Yeah, Joe. I'll go. So what I got was, 
I saw, I would uh, just saw myself standing. It's like, you know, I was watching myself that I was standing in this uh, realm or dimension of um, blue, like sapphire blue and indigo sort of mixing and moving. So it was almost alive. And then I, I saw um, an illuminate, like I became illuminated and then facets were coming out of out of me, right? And it, it just changed the whole atmosphere. And those were uh, perspectives or um, even expressions of ages that that we carry. I mean, um, they're within us, right? And they were they were overlapping, like. Um, like there was no boundary on them necessarily. Mm -hmm. And um, so it was very fluid and, um, you know, it, so it was, <clears throat> it was nothing defined and it certainly wasn't time, but it, to me, it just represented that um, that they are within us and um, we can move from one to the other with not even trying. It, you know, they represented growth and perspectives and, um, yeah, it you know, that's the best way I can explain it is by what I saw and then my explanation of the symbology. So, yeah. Beautiful, Joe. Loved it. <laughs> wow. If, if I could add something to that, Jill, um, um, that was uh, pretty awesome. When I was um, in heaven looking um, at earth, and I was seeing people going to earth, their spirit, and coming a, a living soul there. Um, there were moments where there was a rippling. I could see like a, a, a sound or a frequency that was rippling out from them. It was permeating all over the earth. And, and then multiplying that with, with thousands and hundreds of thousands of other rippling you know it was it was interesting i i couldn't really understand what was happening there but yeah it's pretty yeah. pretty cool yeah that is pretty cool yes thank you that's beautiful wow wow i love it <laughs> <laughs> okay well i'll share dimitri since you suggested so I, I, I so identify, I think it's all just flowing together beautifully. So um, the first thing I got was, you know, all their ages are all together and we exist in all of them. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> exactly yeah. what people have said, right? Yeah. And mm -hmm. that's a lovely thing. You know, we can taste, smell, hear, feel and sense and know all the ages. And so it's that whole mindset that we used to have like you've got to wait until you know something's going to happen sometime in the future and you don't know when it's going to happen all oh, gone that mindset's <laughs> gone and um and all, all the ages are known and exist in the light so so the light the light displays the knowledge of all things yeah and um and we can go of course we can go into them freely so all these things people were saying about you know being in the bubble and all that that's just an expression to me that we we go into them freely that um and you said that too joel mm -hmm. so um and that scripture comes to my mind every blessing in heavenly places is ours right so and um and so I, I thought to myself, um, I thought, you know, with, what is the difference between an age and a realm, right? That came to me. 
And then I saw um, a realm is, well, I said, um, an age is an expression manifesting of a realm. So you get the realm of rest and you see it and you know it and you, you taste it and, it and then it begins to manifest in you. So then you're manifesting, you're, you're, you're living the expression of that realm. And then I saw that, um, yeah. And, and and so then I, I had I had a little question that came to me. Um, so the, so so the fun part of it for me is like okay. We, we freely can go into all of them and we exist in all of them, but we freely can experience that reality. And, 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 and there's no hindrance. There's nothing holding us back. There's, 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 there's nothing stopping us from in, in, engaging in all of those realms all at once and knowing them and everything like that. So that's the beauty of it. Then when it talked about like, um, um, about time travel, Again, for me, that was the expression of going into all of them. You know, we just can, we 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 float within. We experience the realms. It's it's the fullness of everything that's ours. But then I did ask a question, and the question was, um, you know, is there a flow of age to age? In other words, do we need to um, embrace like for example what i thought was so in the sense that all ages were known and everything to us and we can express them is there is there still a glory to glory or age to age right to be expressed and what i got was well, the Godhead wants us to be part of actually causing the manifestation of all of those ages in the cosmos, right? Right? So, so in other words, we can express them or we live in them or we can know them or we can be an expression of them all, right? Mm -hmm. However, there's a place for us with the Godhead to actually manifest that in the cosmos. And so that takes a period or it takes a governance Definitely. that God wants us to be part of. So yeah. that was just a question that I'd had about it because I was so loving the reality that forget, forget, oh, there's going to come a time when it, you're stuck in this time. Oh, just get rid of it all. You got everything. You can just go into all of it. Ah. <laughs> or work harder or work harder to get into the age of blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All that's gone. Yeah. All right. So, Dimitri. As, as I started thinking, guys, I just heard uh, Spirit saying to me, you are right. I was like, okay. I'm <laughs> right. What about it? And the next minute, I saw myself like a highly intense focused laser beam traveling to the absolute extremities of the cosmos at the speed <laughs> of thought. Yes. And I was like, wait there. And the next minute, the sure was with me. And he said to me, in the, a matter of a second, you've traveled millions of light years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, just in that fashion, everything that ever was and ever will be is all contained within us. Speaking of the, the Godhead, he was speaking of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And he said, we're in you. So all that you're just seeing here is in you. Yes. And everything to do with every age that was, is, and is to come is in you and able, <laughs> and you're able to enter it. And uh, you can move through time and space at will. Yes. And I yes. suddenly feel like that. That's it. There's no defined age, we're in this age, that age. Everything is there. <laughs> and that's when you just said to me, you're part of the Melchizedek order. No beginning, no end. 
no beginning, no end. So don't box yourself into a given age. <laughs> and I'm just like, I suddenly, the multitude of stars I saw zapping past me as I was traveling <laughs> as that point of laser, it was like I was just going within a nanosecond, I was outside of our um, unit, galaxy passing through different galaxies and just seeing all these star bursts and stars being born, stars exploding and just going. And the next minute I saw it from a perspective of being outside of it all and seeing it in all of that, that masses of a couple of million light years in, in every direction, all inside our Father and the Godhead. And I just thought, that's it. We limit up, I've been limiting my mindset to trying to understand something that is outside of my mind. It's only the Christ consciousness and the mind of Christ that will open it to me. Hmm. That's awesome. I yeah. can see your hair's on fire. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> see how beautiful it is when everybody shares because it all dovetails together and it all brings the expression uh, of the truth right so it's just it is so beautiful and so thankful to everybody for sharing what you got and mm -hmm. the lord the holy spirit was showing us these realities right yes and and yeah. clarifying stuff for us and we we absolutely love whatever we get from Holy Spirit at any one time, you know, whatever revelation we get, we absolutely embrace it. We absolutely receive it. Right. And then we still hold it open handedly. You know, we still hold it open handedly uh, because there's so much to the expressions of the reality of truth. Right. There's so much to God, our creator. <laughs> <laughs> Every, every time I experience something like this, I realize my carnal consciousness <laughs> yeah. is way too limited. Yeah. And I've just got to open up to more and more of the Christ consciousness. Yes. <laughs> yes. So yes. We're so happy for what we've learned today and engaged today on. And we have got some really wonderful perspectives and insights. And we're so happy that we're in him, he's in us, and it's all, it's all, all ours right now. Right. Um, Mark, you have a question. Uh, yes, I do. I, um, something that I don't, came up when uh, Dimitri was uh, traveling so, so fast, <laughs> uh, there was a, there was a thing I've heard of, and I used to share it with people years ago, that you never want to outrun your fastest angel. <laughs> and it kind of brings back a question I've thought about. You know, we are um, able to be at any place at any time by just a thought. Yeah. Or um, ain't the angelic realm, can they travel that fast as well? I believe I mean, so. Th throwing it out I there. I believe so, but, but I do believe they limited in how compared to us that we can access realms that they can't got it yes i think so i believe you're right hmm. that would be another yeah because i engage on i see yeah. it differently you know my perspective is they can access i see them in every engagement so I mean, you know, that's the thing. We we have different perspectives, and it's all good, right? So maybe mm -hmm. next week we will engage the angelic realm to get to know more about how we connect with them, they with us, and what the differences are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we can just do the exact same format that we did today because it's marvelous, right? Did we it like is. that? 
Did yeah. you enjoy that, Annie? Mark, you know? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm, um, I'm just excited to have so many different people here, like Denise. She has, uh, she's holding back. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's shared a lot of stuff with, with, with me uh, in the past year. Yeah, awesome. I sense, I sense that. I sense Denise yeah. has been in some yeah. interesting travels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta, wait a minute, though. You got to engage right where everybody else is. I can't go up and above and beyond that. Got to stay right yeah. on with everybody else. Yeah, uh, I, very much where it's okay. So, when you, in your personal private engagements, you go off in all different directions, but in the corporate engagement, you stay within in the in the dimension of where everyone is.